Hey, all you crazy seventh graders. I hope you had a good second week of school. Um, today in English, you are going to be setting up your online journal and you will be creating your very first journal entry. So as always, the first thing you do is you go to Schoology to find your assignment and you go to your English course. So find Buddy the Elf. I love English class. English is my favorite. And once you get to the main page, you are going to go to materials and scroll down until you find back to school assignments. Click on back to school assignments. And first thing first is click on journal 2020 to 21. This is an assignment. It does not have a due date because this is a working assignment for the entire year. So when you open up this tab, um, you will see assignment description. And then here, you will see a tab that says my document. Mine looks a little different. If you click on my document, a new journal will automatically be made with your name already on it. Here are the instructions. Each day, create a new entry and respond to the given topic. Journals will be checked periodically. Do not submit to Schoology. If you submit to Schoology, you will no longer be able to edit your journal. So you will be keeping this open. I will still have access to it, don't you worry. Um, let's see, so it does say to create a new entry. Looks like the first entry has already been create, created for us. All we have to do is enter the date, which could either be 917, or if you are watching this video tomorrow, hi there in the future, how's the weather? Um, you're going to write 918, okay? Today our topic is going to be Newzella article. Okay, so everybody's going to write Newzella article as their topic. Excellent. Now you have all this white space that you're going to want to fill up with some text. How are you going to do that? Well, let me show you. You are going to go back to the back to school assignments folder and find the folder that says Newzella article choices for 917 and 918. Underneath, it's always important to read the instructions. It says, choose one of the three articles to read and write about in your journal. Okay, looks like we're in the right place. If you click on this folder, you will see three files. Each file will take you to an article. You only need to pick one. First choice up here is that the new Lana movie faces criticism. Okay, that's one option. Another option is dolphins learn from one another. Ooh, I like dolphins. And the third article is should certain monuments be removed? Okay, this is super interesting because we have seen over the summer that there are a lot of statues and monuments and memorials that um, have are up all around the country um, and some of us have kind of, we kind of realized like some of these people didn't do amazing things and a lot of people are wondering if we should still keep those monuments. So those are three possible articles that you can write about. Um, I'm just going to click on the Mulan one because it's at the top. When you do that, Oh my gosh, what's going to happen? Da, 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 da. Wow, it's almost there. Perfect. There is a um, article. Cool, there's an image with the caption. And first step that you're going to do is you're going to read this all the way through. I'm going to read the article. Okay. When you have finished, reading the article, and this one looks like it's about three pages long, maybe a little shorter. Once you have finished the article, you will be going back to your journal, okay? And your journal entry 
could honestly be whatever you want it to be. Your journal entry could be questions about the article, questions that you had while you read it, okay? Question could be, why are people criticizing the new Mulan movie, okay? So it could be filled with questions. It could be filled with reactions. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that Disney made some maybe questionable choices when they chose to film in certain places in China. Because actually I already read the article and that's what it's about, okay? So reactions could be something you're really surprised about or maybe you're upset about or maybe you're angry about it, okay? That's a reaction, okay? Um, a connection. A connection could be um, when I was a kid, I saw the original animated Mulan movie. That's a connection that I personally have to the text, okay? Um, if you're just having a hard time today and you're not really coming up with questions, if you're not coming up with reactions, if you're not coming up with connections, another thing you could do is you could just summarize. You could write a summary. What was the article mostly about, okay? For your journal entry, um, you should be filling up the space. So you have some space there to fill up. So one question is not going to cut it. One reaction is not going to cut it. And just writing this, this article was about, and then just one sentence, that's not going to cut it either. So you are going to have to do a um, combination of questions, reactions, connections, summaries, and some days it's going to be harder than others, right? Um, but that's also why I'm, al I'm allowing you, excuse me, to pick the topic because hopefully you can find something that um, you can write about. So three articles, which one interests you the most? Um, when you finish with your journal entry, that's all we're doing today um, for assignments. So um, when you're done with that, please make sure that you have finished your back to school presentation. Please make sure that you have also um, submitted the back to school writing pre-assessment as well, okay? Um, if you have finished all both of those assignments, they have been submitted. Um, make sure you go to Mac and Via or whatever book you're reading at home and spend some time reading. A reminder that you are returning to class the final 10 minutes. So come back at the time that I just gave you in the Google Meet, okay? Also remember, I am hanging out in that Google Meet, anxious to talk to you. Um, so if you do have any questions, if this video makes no sense, please go into the Google Meet. I'm hanging out in there right now, okay? Awesome. Um, have a great reading time. Have a great writing time. You got this. I believe in you.